Welcome back to the manor. Julian McBain here, and we are back in summer mayhem. Okay, so whoops, wrong wrong gun. The good news about summer mayhem is that I'm pretty sure I'm coming out pretty good loot wise overall. I'm not disappointed at all with the amount of loot I've gotten. I'm, I started out the, the event with 7 million ammo, and if I convert right now, which is what I'm going to do, I've got 15 million ammo. So, and I've burned through close to 900 pet and repairs, but I've got 21 strong boxes as well. So, I, I'm going to say I probably broke even overall for the event. Um, I gained a boatload of skills. In fact, have I top? Nope. 76,000 skill points now total, the majority of which are combat skills. So that is definitely nothing to sneeze at. Um, I've, I've probably got enough ammo to last me a couple of months now of, of decent level hunting. So I'm, I'm not going to complain at all about my results. That guy hurts when he hits you. He really does. Um, bad news is, is at this point, I've got an hour and a half left, and I know there is zero chance that I am going to uh, make... I'm, there's no chance I'm going to place. Which kind of bites, but it is what it is. You know, I'll make it on the board, and I'll have an okay rank. I'm at the lower end of this particular category, so I'm not overly surprised. Uh, by the time Halloween Mayhem or Merry Mayhem comes around, I'm pretty sure that I will be in a much more competitive position for Category 3. That being said, overall, I think the results have been fairly acceptable. Um, no, beyond acceptable. They've been, they've been positive. They've been positive. So, uh, I went into this thinking I would do the, the one 10-hour string, which is what I'm still doing. I'm not going to come back and do more. Um, I wanted to see how well I did. I did much better than I did during Easter Mayhem. I'm not even sure I broke 2,000 points during Easter Mayhem. I fought a large number of bosses, although I noticed the time adjusted after the first couple hours. Instead of getting a boss every 60 minutes, you now get a boss every 75 minutes. That, I think, really affected how the points ended up laying out, um, which isn't necessarily bad. And I did get a couple of uh, one or two bonus procs on points. I know that because I had it pop up just before a boss fight. So I'm not complaining necessarily about my point status, although it could have definitely been better. Um, I believe, in, in my opinion, honestly, the, the loot more than made up for it. Um, what I'm hoping I don't have to do is burn any shrapnel I acquire to be able to make repairs, but that is a distinct possibility. My ped card is low, and I, I burned pretty much all of my my free loot in order to participate in this. And I've got migration to prepare for. So, it is what it is. We react, we adapt, and we overcome, right? So yeah, um, my impression of Summer Mayhem is good. I'm glad I participated. I am looking forward to Halloween Mayhem after Harv after uh, Migration, which will also be Mutants. And then Merry Mayhem will be Animals, because Daikaba are Animals. And those I have a much higher looter skill on, so I think I'm going to do a lot better. I am glad that they weren't robots this time, because I think I would have done much worse. If they had been, if they had been an animal, I think I would have done a lot better uh, loot-wise. But I still did respectably well. But even now I'm getting, you know, four ped plus loots. That's that's nothing to complain about. Um one thing I will do is I still think I'm not I'm not quite ready for the LB30 overall. My damage potential is a bit lower. I did order another LB25 that'll be that's being shipped to Cyrene. I paid the two peds so I didn't have to travel all the way back. That's the one thing about, like, flying back and forth. If you fly back and forth, buy in bulk. Because I think it only becomes really cost-effective if you buy 
like five or six weapons at a time for the amount of fuel you burn going back and forth. Now, I mean, you can always extrapolate it. If you're a smuggler, which um, I know there are very few of you out there, you could extrapolate that you're bringing loot back to Calypso, but in the amounts that you would have to do so in order to make it worth it for small trips, you'd be putting way the hell too much at risk. Uh, and, and I know there are smugglers out there. You know, because there's there's money to be made in smuggling, just like there's money to be made in piracy. Uh, if a smuggler is smart, they'll have a co-pilot with a Gatling gun. Hey, there's an idea. But I mean, the one time I flew across space with loot, I got shot down, and it was two Fen tokens. I didn't even realize they were lootable because I'm an idiot. Um, but... Getting shot down is a real risk. And pirates aren't going to give you your, their, your loot back. They're not going to, or they might sell it back to you. But then you just lost all your profit. So it's really not worth it. Although, speaking of space, with the amount of ammo we have, I might schedule in a space hunt. It's been a long time since I've done one, and I'm kind of itching to do one. So maybe the next time I'm up in the stars, I'll... Um, there's my map. Let's pull space up for a minute. Ooh, that was a nice one. Almost 7, 8, 9, 10 plus ped. That's a good loot. Mindark, you're being nice to me tonight. Is it because I'm close to the end? See, I really like hunting in Gordon's Belt, which is right here. Because it's safely away from where pirates will come to me. I mean, someone might be lingering in the Gordon's Belt waiting for someone, but I doubt it. It's kind of out of the way. Most people avoid it to avoid the mobs. Uh, there's also some space out here, like in this area, that has mobs. I ran across them on my way to Toulon. Um, but Gordon's Belt, I think, is my favorite place to hunt in space. Actually, it's pretty much the only place I have hunted in space. Now, I've, I've had to fight off mobs. Oh, crap. I'm, like, almost dead. But to actually hunt... I've only done it in Gordon's Belt, primarily because if you global, it's going to show you globaling in space, which is like a light, a moth to a light for pirates. And so once you global, because it's pretty easy to global off those mobs in space, they're fairly high level, you, you got to leave, but you have the time to leave. There's not like half a dozen pirates nearby waiting for you to come back to the space station. Or there might be. Doubtful, you'll probably know they're there before you do, because if you're smart, you stop at the space station ahead of time. But, I mean, it's, it's a distinct possibility that if you hunt in one of the... Um, oh, what are, they, what are they called? If you hunt in one of the training areas and you're not on a mothership, there's a good chance you get shot down on the way in. And then there goes all your loot. Bye-bye, loot. So, um, but what I will be doing is once I'm done with the Mayhem event, which I might finish it up tonight, I'm probably going to finish it up tomorrow. Uh, I don't think I'll record it, because at this point I'm not aiming to place. Um, I, I'm just going to have to kind of come to grips with that. But I will go, be going back to getting on the Epic Fap mission chain. And then after the fat mission chain is over, then I think I'm going to do some basic tutorial ones. I think that I'm long overdue to do them. I did do the one sword tutorial. I don't know how long ago it was. I'll have to check. Um, but I, I think it's it's time that I actually did some, some fairly basic EU videos. 
and then we'll look at the epic noob chain. And I might, what I might do is alternate between the two so I don't become boring and redundant. I love how it looks like I'm aiming at his crotch. Yes, because that's where I would aim with a gun. We're gonna have to heal with this guy, I think. Oh yeah. He's kinda accurate a lot. He's like hit me with almost every shot. Cut him down. Thank you. Oh, there we go. 26. 27. Pop a pill. Am I a pill Ooh. popper? That was a quote from uh, Ill Will Press, by the way. Neurotically Yours by, I think the guy's name is John Ian Mathers. I used to watch it back in the day. I understand he reset his entire, um, his entire series at one point. Uh, I haven't paid attention to it in like 10 years, but it was, it was pretty funny for the time. When you're, when you're in your early 20s, it's a funny thing to watch. I think nowadays I wouldn't be able to, to watch it as much. Because I, I don't... The style of humor is something I really appreciated then, but it's not so much the what I look for in humor now. I'm not saying it's bad humor, although um, it's, it's there's definitely a lot of satire. Uh, it's just not what I look for when I'm looking to laugh anymore. Ouch! But... I would say if, if I would say it was worth watching at least the old content is again I haven't watched him in 10 years I don't know what he's producing now but his old content I think was worth watching and I might be you know remembering it with rose colored glasses that's entirely possible I can't even remember half the stuff that was there um but yeah I mean that's that's entirely possible like I've watched some of the like Saturday morning cartoon shows that I used to love as a kid and nowadays I watch it I'm like uh, this is kind of cringy like I can't believe I thought this was quality entertainment um but it is what it is you know we we grow up we we learn I'm sure that when my son is in his 30s, he's going to cringe at the fact that he loved Spongebob. Oh, look. There go all the Spongebob fans, fans subscribing. I'm sorry. Again, it's one of those things that's not my style of humor. I get it. There are, there are different levels of humor in Spongebob, which I have discovered thanks to, well mostly from posts on the Spongebob community that show up on my feed because I've got a lot of Spongebob fans on my friends. But it's just, it's again, not my style of humor. Okay, we are doing pretty good here. How are we doing from a loot perspective? Wow, we've already gotten almost 100 ped. No strong boxes, though. That's kind of surprising. We haven't gone through as much ammo as I thought we had either. Hmm. Come on. Don't evade. Thank you. 
Global. Oh, I forgot about the chips. Arsenic chip one for 24 ped and 67.33 in shrapnel. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's something I might do more of is using my arsenic chip. Arsenic. Arsonic. Arsonic? That's not it either. Arsonistic. That's the word. Arsonistic chips. <laughs> Once I'm done with mayhem. Instead of, like, selling them or burning them off in, uh, in the TT or whatever, I might just use them to gain my my Mind Force skills because Arsonistic Chips, they, they provide a pretty cool dot. You know, I think it's, like, six extra seconds of damage. And you can't use them again until after the dot is done. So you, you hit the enemy once with the dot and you switch over to your sword and you hit him a bunch of times, you switch back, you hit him with the dot. It's a little more complicated, more rotational, like some more, uh, quote-unquote, I won't even call them traditional MMOs because Entropy Universe came before all of them, but it would be closer to playing like in a Final Fantasy or a Guild Wars or a WoW, even though I'm only alternating between two or three skills. Like uh, alternating between my sword and my regen chip because I forgot to pay attention to my hit points. Again, still some more. Come on. Speaking of chips, I really need to look at possibly um, getting that next healing chip because I'm pretty sure I'm at the level to where it's time. So the next time I go to Calypso, I'll probably look at what the price of one is. I'm probably going to cough when I see it. But that's okay. It's kind of the name of the game, right? All comes with the territory. All comes with the territory. Make sure no one's. Yeah, I don't care about that. I don't care about that either. Oh, that was the last sword I bought. Okay. So yeah, um, I do want to say this. I. I did the two Mayhem videos, the, the vlog and the episode that were an hour long. This one obviously is not an hour long. Um, I didn't mind doing the longer episodes so much. I did find them a lot more difficult. Not only to to pull off, actually they were like an hour and 15 apiece. Not only to pull off, but to be able to schedule. And so, um, I'm not sure that hour long content is going to be a forthcoming thing for me in the near future. I might do some specialty vids, whether it's an Entropy Universe or otherwise, but not... It's not going to become, like, seven days of hour-long vids. Because, unfortunately, I don't have the ability to produce that kind of... that amount of content. Um, that being said, it was a good experience. It kind of prepared me, like, if I was to ever choose to do a live stream, which I would love to be able to do, but scheduling a regular live stream right now is just not in my capabilities. It gave me the experience to know what it would be like having to talk for an hour as opposed to 30 minutes, because producing a 30 minute video is not difficult. Not really. Um, I would actually have trouble producing a shorter video because I think I would just have too much to say. But producing an hour long video, you have to have, you really need to plan those out, I think. And in my case, I really didn't plan them out too much. At least not to the extent that I think I would have had I, if I were to do it over. So, I mean, it, it is what it is. I had a good time with it. Um, we'll see what happens in Halloween Mayhem. Because I'm going to do Halloween Mayhem. I, I'm not even going to pretend I'm going to try to hold off. I'm going to do Migration, but Migration's more open world. Well, it's not more open world. It is open world. Um, but really, I'm, I'm going to do the Mayhems because I really enjoy doing the Mayhems more than I really thought I would. Um, one thing I might do, and I'm not guaranteeing this, but we have almost a week. Maybe I'll do the Mayhem Assault. I don't remember, because, yeah, because the last time it wasn't Mayhem Assault, it was, oh, it was Survive. I didn't survive. 
So I might try one round of Mayhem Assault and see what happens. And maybe I'll vid that for uh, Sunday. Maybe I won't. But it, whether I do or don't, once Mayhem's over, I'm definitely going to be back on the getting the epic mission chains done until Migration. I think Migration's in August. Um, so that will be kind of a focus for that period of time. Come on. Cut him down. I just realized that last global was over 100 peds. Do I have globals up? No? Can I still see it? No. Oh well. It was over 100 pet. That's cool. Um, here we go. Back to it. Back to it. What I might end up doing, you see it's not showing me any globals, and I expected a whole bunch to pop up, which means the global system's probably down. Hooray! Um, I might end up cutting this one short and just doing the last hour. Oh, death is not cool. That was close. That was too close. Um, in fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this one a little short. You got two hour long ones. This time it's going to be a bit shorter. Uh, promise I'll go back to my regularly scheduled half-hour episodes going forward, uh, at least until the next Mayhem. Mayhem's kind of tough to really schedule things out. It makes it tougher. But yeah, there we go. We'll call that the last one. There we go. I'm really hoping to at least finish this bar. So... Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, and subscribe down below. I really appreciate all the support. Don't forget, we are on the road to 13 million subscribers. Don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to happen. I'll find a way. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. You all have a wonderful night.